Hello everyone welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to explore a story that is reshaping the future of aviation, the balance of military power, and the way nations think about advanced defense technology. Sweden, a country often seen as neutral, innovative, and quietly powerful in terms of engineering, has once again surprised the world. The newest engine designed for the Saab Gripen fighter jet is not just another incremental upgrade. It represents a fundamental leap forward, one that could change the balance of air power on a global scale forever. For decades, when people thought of cutting-edge fighter jet engines, names like Pratt and Whitney in the United States, Rolls-Royce in the United Kingdom, and Saturn in Russia dominated the discussion. Sweden was rarely mentioned in the same breath. But with this latest development, that perception is shifting rapidly. This new engine is not just about thrust or fuel efficiency. It is about a complete rethinking of how a modern fighter jet should operate in an era defined by stealth, artificial intelligence, digital integration, and multi-domain warfare. And it is this engine, at the heart of the newest Gripen, that may finally allow smaller nations to compete with giants, creating a ripple effect in global politics and military alliances. When we look at the Gripen story, it has always been about doing more with less. Unlike the massive budgets behind American F-35 programs or the deep industrial networks that sustain Russian or Chinese jets, Sweden has had to innovate smartly. The Gripen was never meant to be the heaviest or the fastest fighter. Instead, it was designed to be agile, cost-effective, easy to maintain, and highly adaptive. But now, with the introduction of a brand new engine, the Gripen is stepping into a territory it has never occupied before. The heart of any jet fighter is its engine. Without power, there is no speed, no maneuverability, and no capability to stay ahead in combat. For years, Sweden used engines derived from American technology, particularly General Electric S designs, adapting them for its own needs. But the global arms market is changing. Nations are increasingly wary of over-relying on the United States or Russia for military hardware. Sweden saw this opportunity, and now it has delivered an engine that could shift the future of air combat. This new power plant is not only more powerful than its predecessors, it is also smarter. Traditional metrics like thrust to weight ratio, afterburner performance, and fuel consumption are still relevant, but what makes this engine revolutionary is how it integrates with modern digital systems. The Gripen S new engine is designed to work hand-in-hand -hand with AI-driven diagnostics, predictive maintenance, and adaptive performance settings. In simple terms, the engine thinks with the plane. It adjusts power output dynamically, not just in response to pilot commands, but also based on tactical needs and environmental conditions. Imagine a fighter jet entering combat where its engine can subtly shift performance to optimize stealth signatures, extend range, or maximize acceleration when needed. That is no longer science fiction, it is happening with this engine. Performance numbers themselves are staggering. Reports suggest that the new Gripen engine can deliver thrust levels comparable to, or even surpassing, the power plants inside fourth and a half and even fifth generation fighters. Yet it does this while being lighter and more fuel efficient. For Sweden, this was a necessity. Unlike the United States, which can afford to refuel jets midair across the world, Sweden needed a fighter that could operate independently, from short runways, and with maximum endurance. The result is an engine that extends the Gripen S combat radius significantly, giving it the ability to project power far beyond what was traditionally expected from a light multi-role fighter. This is not just an upgrade for Sweden S Air Force. It is a tool that reshapes the export market. Nations that cannot afford the F-35, or that do not want to rely on American systems, now see the Gripen as a competitive, affordable, and highly advanced alternative. 
and the engine is at the center of that attraction. But the power of this engine goes beyond raw numbers. One of the most striking features is its modular design. Traditional jet engines are notoriously complex to maintain. They require vast infrastructure, specialist crews, and long downtime for repairs. The new Gripen engine has been built with modularity in mind, allowing entire sections to be replaced quickly, sometimes even in field conditions. This makes the Gripen uniquely suited for modern warfare, where survivability and rapid redeployment are key. A squadron of Gripens can disperse to small rural airstrips, operate in semi-clandestine conditions, and remain fully combat ready without the massive logistical footprint that American or Russian jets usually demand. That is revolutionary, and it is only possible because the engine was designed with this philosophy. From a technological standpoint, the engine also incorporates advancements in materials science that were once thought to be the sole domain of superpowers. New composite materials allow the engine to operate at higher temperatures without sacrificing lifespan. This directly translates into greater thrust and efficiency. In addition, the Swedish team has incorporated advanced cooling systems and adaptive airflow management, allowing the engine to maintain peak performance even under extreme conditions. The result is an engine that not only outperforms expectations but also redefines what is possible for a nation of Sweden's size and budget. The global implications are massive. In the arms trade, perception is everything. For years, the F-35 has dominated headlines as the premier export fighter for those who could afford it, while nations unwilling to invest so heavily often settled for older designs. With the Gripen S new engine, that balance is shifting. Countries in South America, Africa, and Southeast Asia are taking notice. They see an opportunity to acquire a fighter that delivers near fifth generation performance at a fraction of the cost, with an engine that promises reliability, adaptability, and reduced operational costs. This is not only about sales, it is about influence. Every Gripen sold brings a nation closer to Sweden's orbit and further from reliance on the United States or Russia. In this sense, the engine is not just a technological marvel, it is a geopolitical weapon. For NATO, this development is particularly interesting. Sweden has recently deepened its integration into the alliance, and the Gripen is now viewed not just as a Swedish fighter, but as a potential backbone of European defense. European nations have struggled with the high costs of American fighters and the difficulties of developing homegrown alternatives. The Gripen S engine provides a path forward, offering a credible, European-made fighter that could serve as a counterbalance to American dominance. This does not mean the F-35 will disappear, but it does mean that NATO's air power will be more diverse, resilient, and less dependent on a single supplier. In an age where industrial independence is valued as highly as military strength, this shift is profound. Looking further ahead, the new Gripen engine opens the door to even more ambitious possibilities. Saab has hinted that the design philosophy behind this engine is scalable, meaning that larger, more powerful versions could be developed for future aircraft. This could position Sweden not just as a producer of lightweight fighters, but as a player in the broader next generation air combat arena. Imagine a future where European nations, instead of waiting on American or multinational projects, could turn to Sweden for cutting edge engines to power sixth generation concepts. That possibility is no longer far fetched. All of this brings us back to the central idea, how one engine can change global power forever. In military history, revolutions often begin quietly. The introduction of the longbow changed medieval warfare. The tank redefined battlefields in the 20th century. Jet engines themselves once turned propeller-driven aircraft into relics overnight. Now we may be witnessing another shift. The Gripen S new engine, 
born from necessity, designed for flexibility, and optimized for the realities of modern combat, represents more than just hardware. It is a symbol of how smaller nations can innovate their way into positions of global influence. It shows that in the 21st century, power is not just about size, but about vision, adaptability, and the courage to challenge conventions. As we continue to analyze this remarkable development, one thing becomes clear. Sweden's newest Gripen engine is not just an engineering achievement, it is a strategic one. It gives the Gripen fighter a new lease on life, ensures Sweden's place as a leader in aerospace innovation, and offers the world a new model of how advanced technology can be democratized. For allies, it provides hope of affordable security. For rivals, it introduces uncertainty and the need to rethink strategies. And for the future of global air power, it may well mark the beginning of a new chapter. So when we say that Sweden's new Gripen engine will change global power forever, it is not hyperbole. It is a recognition of the profound shifts already underway, shifts that will be felt in defense budgets, in alliance structures, and on the very battlefields of tomorrow. Sweden has proven that even a relatively small nation can, through innovation and determination, alter the course of history. And as the world watches this new engine roar to life inside the Gripen, one cannot help but wonder, is this the moment we will look back on, decades from now, as the spark that redefined air power in the 21st.